Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to database practice session. In today's session, we will practice DDL commands in SQLite. Okay, in order to create a new database in SQLite, we just need to write dot open and then we can give any name that we want to our database. For example, I am writing here test dot db. Okay, so now it will create this test database in my SQLite folder. You can see here it has created this test database file. Okay, now I will create tables in this database. So first I am creating a table as department. With the create table command and writing the table name department. Now in round brackets, I will write the information of columns. So first I have department ID. Its data type is integer. This is primary key. Now this is the constraint. And here I am writing it with column. So it is a column level constraint. Next we have department name. Its data type is text and the constraint here is not null. So it means that we must enter the department name. Okay, these are the two columns in our department table. Now we will create an other table employee. Now first I will write the column name employee ID. Its data type is integer and constraint is primary key. Now when I apply primary key it means that this column cannot has null value and the values must be unique for this column. Next I have column as employee name with that data type text and with constraint not null. Next I have column name as salary its data type is real and now I am applying constraint check as salary greater than 0 that the value of this salary column must be greater than 0. Then I have address text and the constraint is unique that the address value must be unique. Next I have department ID and it's again integer. Okay. Now I will define the table level constraint which is foreign key constraint and I will apply that constraint to department ID. So I will write foreign key. I am applying this constraint on department ID that I have defined here. I have to write the reference that this department ID is, is referencing to references to which table? This department table. Now it, it will become the foreign key in the employee table because this department ID is the primary key of department table. References department. Now here I will mention the column name which is department ID that this department ID is actually referencing to department ID of department table. So it's the foreign key of employee table and this is the primary key of department table. Now I will define the rule as on delete cascade and on update no action. Okay, so I have created these two tables with these columns, their data types and constraints. Now I will insert some data to check if the constraints are working. So I will insert into department. Now I will write values. I am not writing column names because I am inserting values for each column. So 1 and department name is CS. Next value department ID is 2 and department name as management. Next ID 3 and department name as civil. 
okay i have inserted these values okay so here i have missed the values keyword so it's giving an error okay now these values are inserted in department table we can check it with select query from department so we have got these values now i will insert data in employee table insert into employee first we have employee id okay one one next employee name okay ali next salary okay thirty five thousand next we have address i am just writing a b c and next we have department id which is actually a foreign key so we can enter any value from one two three because we have defined these department ids in department table so here i'm writing one here again i have missed the values option okay so it has inserted one row in employee table now i will insert this again i will change some values for example here i am changing it to sam changing salary to 37000 changing address to this and department id to 2 now you see that there is an error an error says that unique constraint fail employee dot employee id because we have applied primary key constraint on employee id it means that the value of primary keys cannot have duplicates and it must be unique so here you can see that i have written one one again so it is not accepting this record if i will change it to one two now you see that it has inserted this record as well now again if i insert record with this value now you see we have again error unique constraint fail on employee dot address because i haven't changed the address value and we cannot have duplicates in the address column okay now if i enter salary as zero now check constraint fail employee so we have check constraint on salary which is that it should be greater than zero so now because it has failed so it is not inserting this record okay we will change this okay now it has inserted this record now if i write some value here like eight and i will change this employee id as 14 okay again uh, constraint on address failed okay it has inserted this record but it shouldn't because i have written some department id which is actually not present in the department table here you can see because right now by default the foreign key settings is off so in order to own that we need to write a statement as pragma foreign keys is equals to on okay now i will try to insert some record so we will change the primary key we will change the name as khan we will change the salary to 79000 and we will change the address to xyz and now here if i write some department id which is not present in the department table now let's see what happens you can see that now it is giving error that foreign key constraint failed because we have set the foreign keys as on that now it will apply the foreign key constraint so this value of department id must be the value from the parent table which is one two three and i'm inserting this record again with department id two so you can see that it has inserted this record into the employee okay now if i want to add a new column in employee table so i will use the alter command alter table employee add column now i will write the column name like for example h integer okay so now if you check the schema of employee table so you can see that this h column has been added to the employee table now if we want to rename 
the column name so we will use alter command alter table employee rename column now we have to give the column name so let's rename the address column to employee address now if you write the dot schema so you can see that the address column is renamed to employee address okay now if we try to drop table i mean delete table department let's see what happened okay now you can see that i have deleted this table department which means that department id has been deleted as well so uh, we have applied the foreign key constraint as on delete cascade it means that if we are deleting from the parent table it will delete from the child table as well so now you can see that it has deleted all those rows from the employee table which were using those department id which were actually present in the department table so this is actually because of this rule on delete cascade okay so in this way we can create tables in sqlite